Under the tarp, Jed. We'll be out in a minute. What's the matter there? What do you think you're doing? You Frank Benton? That's right. This happens to be my rig. Not anymore, it ain't. Loot Foster's the name. Process server from the county seat. Got a writ of attachment here covering stock and chattels of the Circle D, including teams and wagon. Let's see. You jumped the gun, Foster. This isn't legal yet. Plenty legal. Today's the day your note fell due. Today means any time to midnight tonight. And I got the money on me right here. As I haul these provisions home, I'm going over to the bar 99 and pay Bruce Gordon off in full. Well, I reckon I'll just tag along and make sure of that. Any objections? It's all right with me. But you'll have a long walk back. Get over. Sure he's unconscious? Yeah, he's sleeping like a baby. Watch this. See, he didn't even blink. Okay, let's finish the rest of the job. I ask you if you heard a shot. Shot? Yeah. Well, probably just some hunter. If you're through those dishes, we'd better get going. Yeah, I guess so. It's still a long ways up to that road. $600. You might have to get out of here before anybody comes along. And remember, you weren't in the wagon or anywhere around here when this uh, accident took place. Don't worry. I'll wait for you in the line shack, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait. Take this with you. I don't want it on me when Benton wakes up. You and Luke can split it later. Hold it. As long as I'm staying here, I'll take my half right now. Are you crazy? If Benton gets suspicious, we'll have to let him search both of us. Don't be a fool. Well, I ain't fool enough to let Jed out of my sight with that money. All right, give it back. You can fight over that when the coast is clear. Yeah, if we can find it. Okay, Jed, get on your horse and get out of here. Look out, Gino! Look out, Bill! That stuff is... I'm glad we didn't. We've been wearing a rim for a hat band and picking our teeth with a spoke. We'd better ride up there and see what happens. Yeah, I hope nobody got hurt. Take us longer to get up there than it did it to get down here. I think he's coming too. Well, it's near time. I was afraid he would. Listen, someone's coming. Quick, lie down over there. Act like you were hurt.
Here, let me give you a hand. You must be new in these parts. Around here, a man waits till he's asked. Even when somebody's hurt? He'll be all right. I can take care of him without any drifters button in. But then, where this trouble's part of a marshal's job. Marshal? Name's Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok? And Jingles P. Jones. That's a pretty nasty bruise. How'd it happen? I just got here. Don't ask me. I'm not asking you. You like telling us about it? Well, I can. Him and me was in his rig when it throwed a wheel. Tossed us both out in our heads. Ain't that how you figure it? No, I can't remember. We were riding along when everything went black, like I was slugged. Yeah, like somebody knocked me unconscious while I was driving. Well, landing on his head must have put his memory out of Kilder. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of other things I remember, like the chattel note I owe Bruce Gordon. Selling my yearlings for the money to pay him off. The money. It's gone. Uh, now, don't tell me somebody came along and robbed you before Mr. Gordon got here. Maybe I was robbed after he got here. Are you calling me a thief? I'm saying you'd like to grab the land I homesteaded. That's the thanks I get for helping you through the winter. Trusting you for stock feed when you didn't have a dime. Trusting my signature, yeah. And waiting to foreclose if I couldn't pay. When you found out I was going to pay, you fixed it so I couldn't. Now, that's enough. All right, cut it out. Oh. 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 I said cut it out, and I mean it. How foolish can you be? Put that gun away before you look like two acres of gopher holes. Now, let's everybody calm down. Well, he can't call me a thief. Search me and see if I've got his money. Yeah, me too. Since you insist. Jingles, would you mind obliging these gentlemen? It will be a pleasure. Well, when he gets through, maybe you'll believe that somebody else picked your fight. No big money on him. In fact, I saw somebody riding away from here when I was still a half mile down the road. And why didn't you mention that before? Well, it slipped my mind. Both of them clean as a hound's tooth. Did you see who it was? Well, not to swear to, but I think it was that old jailbird ranch hand of yours. I always said it was bad medicine having a thief like Sam Barney around. The only thing Sam ever stole in his life was a few chickens from a guy that owed him wages. Sam wouldn't steal from me. Poor guy, my place is the only home he's got. Now, well, he won't have it long. And neither will you if you don't pay that note before tomorrow. After the way you've acted, you get no consideration from me. Come on, Luke. We'll have to ride double till I can find your horse. Don't sell off any assets until I take over. Just will him, I'll still whip you. Sir, is my name Sam Varney. Your name's gonna be Mud if you don't shut up. Let's go. Oh, my... yes. now, wait a minute. Someone's coming. See who it is, and I'll take him back in the cabin. Yeah, and when they get here, oh, they'll shut up. Hickok, see you? 
Not unless he's got eyes in the back of his head. He'll figure Barney slugged him. Well, let's get the old man to the line shack. Come on. What happened to you? Got in a gunfight with a fellow I didn't recognize. Then somebody came up from behind and slugged me. When I came to, nobody was around. But I did find this stuck to that door over there. I might believe that, except for one thing. Sam can't read or write. Well, then this confession's a fake. Somebody kidnapped him and framed him. Not just somebody. Bruce Gordon and his Bar 99 bunch. Well, the only way to prove that is to find Sam Hill prisoner on Bar 99 property. Come on, Jingles. Wait till I get a gun and I'll go with you. Which way from here, Frank? There's one line shack down there they might hide him in. The other one's over that ridge. Well, you take that one, Jingles, and I'll take the one over the ridge. Well, we pinned old Varney up in the line shack, like you said. So now we figure if you're done with us, we'll look up that wagon wheel and get our money and pull out. Well, you're not going to pull out till this job's finished. What else is there? Well, I've been thinking it over. If that shack burns down with Varney in it, people will think he was using it for a hideout and set it afire trying to cook a meal. So you want us to scratch the match, huh? Yeah. Here's a little coal oil to help it along. I sure am. And I'm sure glad you're here. Uh, have I got a tale to tell you? Well, let's hear it. Then they chained me up like this. Well, they sure did a good enough job. Then I heard them say something about $600 they expected to get. They mention where it was? No. Just something about it being in the hub. Hub? Will you help? Well, yeah. And hoping that the money wasn't too greasy to spend. I'll bet that's that runaway wheel. Jingles, I think you got something. Have I? Yeah. Well. As soon as you get Barney loose, you meet me down there at that wheel. Maybe we can trap a couple of rats. Oh, I knew you wouldn't wait for me. <laughs> There's all the fighting I have to do, all the unchaining. I don't know how to get it. Well, what do you want me to do, file or talk? Job done, get out of here and get our money out of that wheel.
That ought to do it. Let's go. to play with matches. <laughs> Get up and get on your horses. Ooh. How will you get on your horse? Looks like you win, Gordon, this time. <laughs> there won't be any next time for you. All right, boys, start digging a grave. Nice work, Jingles. It's the first time I ever got the whole covey with one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him covered. All right, you two, get over there. Good gunshots. It looks like you don't need any help from me. Not unless you want to pay Gordon the money you owe him before he goes to prison. I'd like to. You fix it so I can't. I'll fix it so you can. Two hundred. Four hundred. Six hundred with interest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jingles. You're welcome. 